no one could fail to be moved by the emotion here at Ninian Park Cardiff tonight. The light beginning to fail, but the night simply charged with emotion from some 20 to 25,000 Welshmen here to cheer Winston on to what they hope will be a famous victory against this tough champion from Mexico, Vicente Saldivar, 24 years old, beaten only once in six years as a professional, and meeting Winston for the second time tonight. They met in 1965, and Saldivar was just a little too strong for Winston, and he outpointed him over 15 rounds. Winston himself has been beaten only three times in 62 fights. A real battle of champions. The British and European champion from Merthyr, Howard Winston, against the world champion from Mexico, Vicente Saldivar. Mexican world champion in the white shorts is a southpaw. He leads with his right. Tough and rugged, immensely strong. Winston, the superb boxing master. The brilliant exponent of the straight left. The first world championship fight in Wales for 21 years. third fight completely unruffled and calm before the fight he had time to wink at friends in the crowd as he sat in his corner the night air cool now which might not suit Saldiva Scoring being done by Winston. The Mexican is out of range. championship fight and so far the Mexican hasn't landed a really good contract but still has had to take a few himself. Sabivar a quarter of a pound heavier, 8.13 and a quarter, suspected that he has a little bit of trouble making the featherweight limit of nine stone. If he has had trouble, we shan't know until the later stages of the fight. Winston, 28 years old, making his second challenge against Saldiva. It was September 1965, 21 months ago, when he lost on points at Earl's Court in London. And the story of that fight really was told in the last three rounds, because from the 12th onwards, the Mexican was simply too strong for Winston. And Winston, although he boxed superbly in the early rounds, found the man just a little bit too strong for him at the finish. The world champion. Full name, Vicente Samuel Saldivar Garcia. 24 years old, five foot three inches tall. He's two inches shorter than Winston. His reach is 65 inches. That's two inches less than Winston has. He's known in Mexico as Il Zuco de Oro, which means the left hand of gold. So Winston, out in front on the first round.
gloves they're wearing tonight are Mexican gloves. There was a dispute about which gloves they should use, British or Mexican, before the fight, and it wasn't decided until about an hour and a half before they came into the ring. And finally, the Welsh camp gave way, and so Mexican gloves are being worn. Saldiva beginning to open up a little more in this second round. Swarthy Mexican who shaved his moustache since the last time he was with us. is now beginning to warm up a little. Although the night gets steadily cooler. Winston getting the right hand in. superior reach of two inches coming in and it is hurt Saldiva with the right hand a good punch took the Mexican right off balance round two 30 seconds of the second to go clearly the start of this fight is going Winston's way medals on the first two rounds. I would think he's lost both of them. And he's finding that Winston's right hand is pretty sharp. And he took one right hand which knocked him right back onto his heels. And I suspect Saldivar is feeling a little bit surprised about the sharpness of Winston's right hand punching. He may well have hurt his jaw a little bit from the way he's opening his mouth. feature of this fight so far has been the precision and willingness of which Winston has put the right hand in as well as the left. He's punching as well with the right as he does with the left normally. And he's a good deal faster than I've seen him in recent fights, much sharper. It looks very much to me as though Winston has come here tonight to fight the fight of his life. At 28. <laughs> so they are walking on the punches as he tries to come in. One though, that's the second time he's put a low one in. Did one in the previous round. Now, this is a very fine start by Winston. Picking up the points again with sharp punching. Mexican now trying to put combinations together. The harder punching at the moment seems to me to be coming from Winston. The right hand is really getting in and is getting in hard to the body.
There's no doubt at all that if Saldivar is having any weight trouble at all, this start by Winston is going to give him a lot of trouble. Because when you're suffering from weight trouble, you can't take punches as well as you can normally. the end of the third and although Winston had a harder round than he had in the first two I still think he probably just shaded that one so it looks to me as though he's made a really great start to this world championship fight Howard Winston of Wales 28 years old 62 fights he's won 59 and been beaten only three times once by Leroy Jeffrey of America who stopped him in two rounds one of Winston's rare off nights Another occasion by Don Johnson of America, who got a very controversial points decision with which most people disagreed. And of course, the other man to beat him is the man in the other corner, Vicente Saldiva, the world champion, who won this title in September 1964 when he stopped Sugar Ramos of Cuba in 11 rounds, which was a very fine performance indeed. He's since defended the title five times, five times in less than three years. Typical Saldivar burst of punching there. The left hand of Saldivar is the dangerous punch. And he caught Winston going back with it there. Saldivar now beginning to open up. now knows I think he's got to take punches to get inside noticeable that the punches are coming much more often this time from Saldivar in the fourth round he's thrown more punches already in this round than practically in the previous three rounds put together the left hand of Saldivar looking dangerous as he comes across with it each time. Winston can't afford a moment's relaxation. So far, this is Saldivar's round for the first time. start to put the punches together. What a dangerous looking fighter he is, Saldiva. not having so much success with the left hand this time. Saldivar has stepped back from a lot of them, then worked inside hard. And there's the end of the fourth, and that one is very clearly Saldivar's, very clearly indeed. 
tremendous late rally. This is what he did in their first fight. He used to come very strongly towards the end of every round and give Winston a lot of trouble at the end of the rounds. And he did that again there. And for the first time, he very clearly won a round. Round four, Vicente Saldivar, the world champion. sort of stuff with which Saldivar is now opening up is the sort of stuff that's enabled him to be successful in six successive world championship fights. beginning to work behind the left hand again not chancing the right so often now because Saldivar is opening up a lot more when he goes to him the sheer strength and ferocity of the attacks are bearing Winston back and at this stage now Saldivar looks immensely the more strong of the two Round five. We're now seeing the real pattern of this emerging, which is the left hand of Winston and the boxing ability against the sheer strength and aggression of the Mexican. Last time, strength and aggression told. against the two-fisted work of the Mexican. I think I would have to give it to Saldivar just by a shade because it seemed to me he landed rather more good punches than Winston did. But there couldn't have been very much in it and if anybody said it was even, I wouldn't argue too much. Well, this really is a superb contest. Very worthy indeed of the World Championship title it has between the out-and-out -out fighter Vicente Saldivar of Mexico defending the championship and the brilliant 28-year-old boxer from Wales, Howard Winston. Two good punches by Winston. 
outside the ring. The night closing in now. Hardly any light left at all. And now the attention of about 25,000 Welshmen focused intently on this brilliantly lit ring. Winston spearing his man space again and again with their hands. And Saldivar knowing that he's really got to put up a great battle here if he's going to win this. He's being tested to the absolute limit by Winston. The front of Winston's body now is chest absolutely scarlet from the effects of the punches that Saldivar has landed there. He's blotched all over his chest. Some indication of the strength of punch of Saldivar. Saldivar has put a lot of effort into this round and he scored a lot with punches. 3-4 there to the head. No reply from Winston. Winston now being really hustled. Notice how Saldivar works towards the end of the round. And that round I would mark to the champion. Saldivar now really opening up round after round but really being made to work because whenever he rests, then Winston comes in with that left hand, left hand, the occasional right, and it really is a fine championship. I should think promoter Harry Levine must be well pleased with the sort of efforts these two are putting up. Well, at this stage, I've got them absolutely dead level. Punches don't stop Saldivar from coming on. This is significant, of course. One wouldn't expect them to. Winston is not a great puncher. He's putting them in with full force and sharpness when they aren't having any effect. Winston now slightly marked underneath the left eye. Just a little nick there. A little dark mark underneath the left eye. Winston fighting really hard here to keep this Mexican away and he can't stop him coming forward. Tremendous battling round by Saldivar, the seventh. And Winston doing his share of scoring in it, too. Hard left hand downstairs from Saldivar. Well, there's no signs of weight strain at the moment from Saldivar. He's fighting as though he's absolutely comfortable at 8.13 and a quarter. Now past the halfway stage. And that was a low one from Winston. What a good round this has been.
wonderful round, the classic combination, the fighter versus the boxer. The left hand work came from Winston here. And a tremendous battling round by the champion, the world champion. Here's Winston. That severe haircut, which makes him look a little unfamiliar. We're used to seeing rather more hair on the top of Winston's head. Well, he's a man of tremendous experience, 62 fights. And he's taken part in 13 championship fights in the last six years. World championship, British, European. 13 championship fights in the last six years. And he's gone 15 rounds four times. The night simply ringing with cheers for Winston. No man could have had more support than Winston's had here tonight. We're in the eighth round, and now this is the time when one begins to look for signs of tiredness because this has been a really hard fight. The preceding seven rounds have been packed with punches and action. There's never been a moment's respite for either man. And Winston is 28, and Saldivar is 24. Two good punches from Winston. This man is fighting the fight of his life tonight. I honestly think Winston is fighting better in this fight than he did in the first one with Saldiva. by Winston. The Mexican's taking a little bit of a breather in this round. Or maybe he's not being given too many opportunities. A minute to go of the eight. And Winston's making the world champion look very flat-footed indeed. He definitely hasn't worked so hard in this round, Saldiva. Whether he's coasting or whether he's beginning to feel the strain, we shan't know. <laughs> 30 seconds, and it's definitely Winston's round so far. round indeed for Howard Winston. He won that one on my guard and I would put him out in front again after that. This is a tremendous battle by Winston. It really is. And that corner must be very pleased indeed with the way their boy's working here tonight. I think he is fighting a lot better than he did in their first fight. And he did well enough for 12 rounds in that one. Heaven knows. If this Mexican has got weight trouble, then we're reaching the stage now where it will begin to show.
What a wonderful fight this is. Three body punches went in there from Sadeva. No reply. Winston's nose is bleeding. What a hard round this one has been. They've both put a lot into it. It's a question of what's, which one has had the more taken out of him. The end of the ninth. That was a big round for Saudi Arabia. He put a lot of effort into that round, and I think he just won it. Well, this is a great fight indeed. And there really can't be very much in it between these two. Once again, I've got them absolutely level on the card. What a finish we're going to see. Six rounds to go, and whose fight is it going to be? Sardivar again now beginning to come forward and working hard. Winston's right hand not being used very much now, working principally behind the left. Another slip. It's the first time he's slipped over, but he's twice before slipped a little bit. And it could well be a sign of tiredness in those legs. They're 28 years old. <laughs> now Saldivar is marked underneath the right eye. Both of them, I think, now beginning to take a breather in this one. The pace they've been going, it's no surprise. going through there from Saldiva. Good right hand from Winston. Got through to the chin. But he's had to take a few back for it. The harder Winston presses, so Saldiva comes stronger. And now Saldiva is definitely marked underneath the right eye. And there's a sign of blood there. and I think he shaded that one. But what a good challenger and what a good champion. We really have got a great world championship battle here tonight in Cardiff. Well worthy of its build-up and every bit as good if not better than their first fight. In fact, I do think it's better. 
Well, now we're in the last third of this World Featherweight Championship between Hard Winston of Wales, the challenger, and Vicente Saldivar of Mexico. And we're reaching the stage now where in their previous fight, Saldivar began to get really on top. It was after the 12th last time that he really began to get on top of Winston. young bull as champion and Winston has to play the part of the matador with the left hand this man is still very strong Saldiva He's pushing Winston away from him out of the clinches, and that's a sign that he's still got a lot of strength to spare. Oh, this is a bad patch for Winston, trapped on the ropes, he can't get away. That's the most successful patch that Saudi Bar has had so far. He trapped Winston on the ropes, and the champion wasn't quick enough to get off them. And that is a sign of tightness in itself, because a really strong Winston would have been away, and he took a lot of head punches. He's on the ropes again, but he managed to come away that time, but he's tired, Winston, he's lying on a bit. Winston is definitely slowing. Trying hard to work behind the left, but the sheer strength and ferocity of Zaldiva is forcing him back the whole time. And he hurt Winston again there with a looping left hand. This Mexican southpaw now well on top in the 11th. The pattern beginning to look as though it might go the same as last time. Still trying to score points with the left, Winston. But that was Saldivar's round, there's no doubt about that. One very bad patch there for Winston. In that 11th round when he was trapped on the ropes and he took several head punches before he could get away or cover up. The singing and the cheering now begins to build from this crowd at Ninian Park. And Winston now needs all the encouragement he can get because this is the vital part of the fight for him. This is where he lost it last time. Good right hand from Winston. What a punch to produce at this stage. Sardivar is just going to storm through the lot. He doesn't care what Winston throws at him. He comes through everything. That left hand in Saldivar's face again and again and again as he comes forward. That's another good right hand from Winston.
Cam Winston. Slow to come off the ropes and taking a lot of punches around the head. Punch after punch rain on him there. And now Winston's eyes are beginning to look a little bad. His left eye, the left eyebrow, beginning to look as though it might just be cut. This is the very big effort from Saldivar. He's going out to win in this round if he can. And Winston is cut over the left eye. And he's slightly cut over the right eye as well, Winston. Just a slight cut on his right eye and another one on the left. And still this wonderfully brave and brilliant young Welshman is trying to box his way back into this with the left hand. And he's swaying about on the ropes again, that's where he was trapped before. And he's very tired, hard, and his mouth now beginning to puff up a little bit. And he looks very tired, and his face is very marked. Oh, and that was a bad round for Winston, the worst one he's had yet. And this fight is beginning to go exactly the way the other one went, with this Mexican, so strong, so rugged, so aggressive coming into it more and more as the fight goes further. Three rounds to go. And Winston now must have dropped behind under the sheer storming assaults of Saldiva. And Saldiva getting the signal from his corner, come on, keep coming forward. They begin to feel, I think, that Winston is tiring and this is his chance. Listen to this noise from the crowd now as they cheer for Howard Winston. Winston does. He can't stop the Mexican coming forward. Good right hand from Winston. Every now and again he pops that right hand home. Worker, this Mexican is. He really is. Another great Saudi of our effort here. He's trying so desperately to finish this one inside the distance. Winston now blowing through blooded lips. Still they signal Saldivar to come forward. And this is a very great world championship fight. boy as he goes back to his corner but my word what a good challenger he is 
He has fought his heart out here tonight. He really has. He's boxed brilliantly. At times, he's punched as sharply as, as I've ever seen him punch. But he still hasn't managed to stop this incredibly tough Mexican coming to him. Winston again picking up points with the left hand, working wonderfully well behind the left. The strength lies with the world champion. The 14th round in their last fight was a very bad one for Winston. from the Mexican and Winston's in trouble on the ropes again hanging on desperately trying to move this way and that to get away and still trying to box behind the left hand what a wonderfully game performance by Winston but he's going he's done it's the first time in two fights with Saldiva Eddie Thomas leaning right through the ropes telling him to stay there for nine round 14 can Winston survive? Just under a minute to go of the 14. And Winston's going to have trouble getting through this one. He's taking too much punishment now. Trying to dodge away. Still trying so gamely to put the left hand in. But his chance is gone. Fifteen seconds to go in the 14th round. And Sardivar is blowing. He's put so much effort into that. There's the end of the 14th. A terrible round for Winston, but he came through it. Eddie Thomas goes to fetch him to the corner. And it looks now as though the Welshman's chance has finally gone. There's one round to go. Can he get through 15 rounds now with the world champion? There was so much effort put by Saldivar into that 14th round that at the end, I don't think he could throw a punch himself. He wore himself out hitting Winston. Saldiva, this immensely strong champion now, again making a big effort in the last three minutes. What a joke it is to say that he's been having trouble with the weight. He simply can't be having trouble. No man could be this strong and have trouble with the weight. Saldiva, marked under both eyes. 
Winston smothered in Greece. And the pattern of this fight, remarkably like their first. And Winston scoring points off the Mexicans' face as Saldivar battles away. Good punches from Winston. greatest fight of Winston's life. There's no doubt about it. And he's giving as good as he gets in the last round. He really is. What an incredible finish to this fight. Making Saldiva miss. Leading him a dance around the ring. And Saldivar is just about exhausted, his mouth's wide open. Twenty seconds to go. What a finish to this fight. And there's the bell. A wonderful world championship fight. And Saldiva is the winner. And Saldiva has retained his world championship on points over 15 rounds in a fight that was remarkably similar to their first with the Mexican so strong in the closing stages. And just as in their first fight, the 14th was a bad one for Winston. So Saldiva is the winner on points over Howard Winston, a very fine challenger, a very brave challenger. Two tremendous fights these two little men have had, and both of them absolutely worthy of the world title label. A magnificent effort by Winston. Feet in 63 fights. Saldivar's record now, 32 wins out of 33 fights. A very fine world champion, tremendously strong. of your life tonight. Thank you. I think you fought a lot better this time than you did the first time against him. Oh, I trained hard for this one. He felt real good. But I think in the fight itself, you fought so much better, I felt. You were sharper. Well, we thought we all thought we'd won it, like, you know, last week was. You felt yourself you'd won it? Oh, yeah. I didn't have early on as you do. Won it easy. You made a brilliant start. You didn't lose any of the early rounds. It was a I tremendous start. I know that, as I'm saying, you know. We, then I came back a bit in the last couple of rounds and I thought we won it easy. The way you were punching with the right hand was uh, impressive, I think, early on. Well, we've been practicing all the time in the gymnasium. Did you find him not as difficult this time as last time? Well, I knew what to expect this time last time. We knew nothing about him, like, you know, we knew this time. It was peculiar the way the, the pattern of the fight was so similar towards the end, particularly in the 14th round, which was a bad round for you last time. And it was again this time. Well, he seems to come on strong, you know, you know, he must give him a pep pill or something. He does, in fact, doesn't he? It doesn't matter what you did to him, he's, he kept coming at you. Very strong. Would you say you hit him as hard as you've ever hit any man? Oh, I think so, yeah. yeah I hit him a couple of times. 
I felt this too. And in fact, I don't know if you know this, but he did an interview with the Mexican commentator at the end, and he said that you'd given him the hardest fight anybody had ever given him, and that you'd hurt him badly. Yeah, but like I said, it's a one easier to get him. It must be a tremendous disappointment to you. You've had two goes at him now, and you haven't come out the winner either time. Um, how badly is this going to affect you, do you think, in your, th in your thinking about boxing? Well, I am very disappointed, you know, but uh, I think I'll try and make another laundry belt, my own property, and then I'll pack up. You've got two more notches to put on it, haven't you, before two you make notches, your own? yeah. <coughs> so you'd like to have those two fights? And pack it up. What about another one with Saldiva? Would you think of that? Yeah, sure, why not? <coughs> Come again, it would be great. Well, it was a tremendous performance tonight. You had the crowd on your side, too, which obviously helps. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody saw it, one except the referee. <laughs> it's very tough indeed. H how do you feel now? You... I'm a bit tired, it's all. I'm going to have a good sleep tonight. No, I'll be right. I mean, you put the whole of yourself into this fight, didn't you? You really did. I threw everything at him. Okay, that's where it goes. Well, it was a wonderful world championship. I mean, no matter who won, it was a great fight anyway. That's amazing. And we do congratulate you on a wonderful show, Hart. Thank you very much. Thank you.